All right, with Halloween behind us, we are now fully into fall, and we've got some great pumpkin-flavored fall treats for you this morning with Natalie Paramore. I love both of these ideas that you've uh, come up with. We've got um, pumpkin Pop-Tarts. Yes. And pumpkin ice cream, but the best part is what about the ice cream? Uh, there's no dairy, it's vegan. Yes, so anyone can eat it. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty easy to make, right? Yeah, it's really easy to make. Um, for the ice cream, what I love, I love cooking with pumpkin because yes. it adds so much flavor and texture. You don't have I to do add too. a lot of the other ingredients. So for the ice cream, this one's really great. Um, you don't need an ice cream maker. Perfect. You don't can have one, use, so that's good to know. Exactly. <laughs> a blender or a food processor. And it's so simple. You just take bananas. You want them to be kind of ripe like this. Okay. Um, you know, kind of brown, a little mm -hmm. bit mushier. Okay. And you slice them up about an inch thick, and you freeze them for two hours. All right. Throw those in the blender with some spices. Um, you can use pumpkin pie spice, allspice, mm -hmm. nutmeg, cinnamon. I love that pumpkin pie spice. Yes, so that was good. One's it has easy. everything in it, it everything. so it does make it very easy if, if you like to cook with pumpkin and pumpkin flavoring. Yes. So you throw the spices in there, and I love to use uh, vanilla beans. Ooh, I have never done anything with yes, these. Yes, and they smell so good. Oh, they really do. Mm -hmm. So you just use this real vanilla bean, and, and you yes. just put it in there like that, break it up a little um, bit? No, you slice it oh, with a knife, I have no and then clue, you obviously. scrape out all the seeds. It's kind okay. of messy, and but And so you're just really going to put the seeds in just there? Just the seeds. Okay. And that's on oh, the wow. blog. Try that. And um, with a little bit of pumpkin, uh, mm -hmm. pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, you can get this at the store. Really easy, and you throw it in the blender, and then put it in a freezer-safe dish. This is actually uh -huh. a bread pan. Uh -huh. You can use whatever, yeah. and you freeze it um, for about two hours until it's solid. Perfect. I last minute add some chocolate drizzle. Yes, because make why it not? even better. That sounds so easy, and like yes. you said, no dairy, no so dairy. vegan. Anyone can eat it, yep. and kind of a healthier cold yes. treat that you're for getting. Sure. All no right. added sugar in this one. Perfect. Okay, now let's move on to the pop tarts. You've got pop the tarts. dough rolled out. How, what, what is this? So this is a store bought dough. Okay. I've been experimenting with lots of different pie doughs this fall, mm -hmm. um, but for this one, I'd like to make it really simple. And I just took a store bought dough. Okay. Rolled it out. Rolled it all out thin. Okay. So for this part, to make, I made mini uh, pop yeah, tarts. Very so you cute. can make them any size you want. Mm -hmm. But it's really easy. You just kind of cut like this so that you have like a solid edge. Okay. And you're just cutting strips, a couple Cut inches in strips. wide. Yep. Kind of just depending on how big you want them to be. Exactly. And then, so for this part, take uh, the pumpkin filling, which okay. this is again the pumpkin, um, the pumpkin spices. Have you what? Okay, so this is the pumpkin puree from you got that canned pumpkin puree. Yes. The pumpkin spice. spice. And then a little bit of egg and want? brown sugar. So just put a little dollop, kind of in the middle there, and another little dollop. Egg and brown sugar. Okay. Yep, and that's the full instructions that are on the is blog. Is that too much, too little? No, nope, that looks great. And then okay. you take this other slice mm -hmm. and you just fold it over the top and kind of just mush around the edges yes. like that. And then if a little comes out, that's okay. Yeah. I took these and you slice it. Perfect. And then real quick, and put then them in the oven? Put them in the oven, 10 minutes. Okay. It's easy. Icing, sprinkles. Perfect. And all those directions on your blog, natalieparamore.com. Thanks yes. so much for coming in this morning. Yeah, we thank appreciate you so much. it.